Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga, with me, Jalanon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. Let's dive right back in. Uh, just a heads up, my health has been weird lately, so I want to keep trying to do these as I can. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, no difference in scheduling for you. So, without further ado, the success of the Nephilim army has awoken the sleeping hearts of the people of Tanra. They are finding the courage to fight to restore their freedom. But the forces of the Empire are still quite powerful and will crush any new resistance that might organize. The translated scrolls of the Historium Magnus point to a Nephilim shrine at Greywind Peak and the Sandraka Condit. Seeking both to weaken the Empire here and to unlock the power of the shrine, Jalanon's army establishes a base in Sandraka District. Ooh, right here. Okay. Oh, over here. Never mind. Conquering the local Imperial army based at the port city of Crestmoor would be a straightforward task. However, an old but all too familiar enemy makes itself known. Tide Reavers, I'm betting. Kuroda. We will see. I've got something important for you, Jalanon. What? The deploy option has changed. Now, since we have access to more of Tanra, there are side quests available. Ooh. After selecting Deploy, we'll be given the option of continuing to the next chapter in our fight, or completing any one of the side quests. These are optional, and can be completed in any order as long as they're available. We need every bit of strength we can gather for this fight, so Jalanon, let's get these done! Ooh, guided chapters, those are interesting, interesting. Hmm, very fire emblemous. So we can have Beatrix talk to Jules. <laughs> oh my goodness, the psycho and the... Wonderful Optimist. Okay, that's interesting. We have another gold arena token now. So I might do that. Hmm. Tech tree first, though. Tech tree first. So, we're definitely wanting that. So let's make all artifacts cheaper. And then... Yes! Yes! Minus one iron and obsidian costs. Glorious. Okay, definitely worth it. We could try to make siege cannons have four range, and then when they're on top of a wall or something, it's five, which is pretty good. And then we can get Gunners and Dragoons shortly. That would be five, so we couldn't afford it. We have two left over. That's intriguing. I also do want this kind of as soon as possible, so this would not be bad. We don't have any Dragoons, so this is kind of pointless, though. Hmm. Significant morale damage can have a point. I do want Dragon Riders. Yeah, let's let's get this so Magicians can do more damage and stuff over time. Ignore Resistance seems very good for when we're trying to deal damage. And then yeah, we will go from here to try to get to this as quickly as we can. Hmm, and the additional attack, though, ooh, that, yeah, okay. So the additional attack, that's pretty useful for our gunners. They should be able to annihilate pretty much anything within a phase, in theory. We'll see. We do have a marketplace, uh, Sarah, a dark hospitaler, interesting, Osra, Anna, a dark paladin, okay, so higher strength, higher magic, which with your magic armor, does that help your magic armor? No, because you'd have to have higher armor for that. Okay. Intriguing, though. Uh, Ice Mage. With Resolve. Jorg, the unassuming Warbow. <laughs> okay. This is beautiful. I love it. Hmm. Jorg, you tempt me. Mm, yeah, we don't really have anything else, but we're already kind of... Ooh, more iron. Okay. We do want... Wait, how do I have 65 iron all of a sudden? What? What? Wait, by doing the tech tree, did I just unlock a bunch? Like, retroactively? What? Okay, so I should have paid more attention to that. I'll have to check the video, but that's intriguing. Uh, resolve seems pretty good for keeping stuff alive. More obsidian is probably a good idea. Officer's regalia. 15% less damage taken on defense. Hmm. Ataraxia. Oh, yes. See that minus six capacity? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how you get more people in. Hmm. St. Teresa's Bulwark. Oh, that's very good for Diana. Okay, we're doing that. 
Bronze arena token, yes, that pays for itself easily. Uh, Imperial war banner. Plus four squad, I think you mean plus five squad capacity, really. Intriguing. Or, oh, because of the minus one we just researched, it becomes minus five, I guess? Oh, that's, I like it. So yes, we're getting that, absolutely. Statement of health, it's health. Health is always good. Resolve would be nice. Officers Regalia, it's more like if we have stuff to put on, sure. But definitely that. Ah, resolve is pretty decent. Sure. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Probably get it and forget it, but oh well. Uh, Jorg, I'd love to afford you, bud, but you're very expensive, and I have a feeling we will find some bazaars and stuff in these side quests, so I'd like to save some money. Or we will get more money, so then we can afford Jorg. Yes. Okay, so that's an option. We have some supports. I don't know if the side quests will unlock more supports with people. So maybe we do these first. Let's... Yeah, let's support. So Beatrix and Jules. Hey, Beatrix. How are you liking it here? Oh, I guess I'm supposed to belong now. So you're just going to fly solo? Well, I'm not going to let that happen. Is that so? Good luck with that. But you do seem like a real sweetie. Perhaps I'll make you my most prized servant. No. Can I ask, how did you become so magically gifted? I've never seen your tricks, even from the most experienced battle mages. Tis my gift and my curse, Jules. My existence is a bit of an experiment. You see, I'm the first Nephilim those cultists knew about. So they tried to twist me in every which way to get me to do their bidding. Really mess with my brain, they tell me. Mess with your brain? Don't you see? The elevator doesn't reach the top floor here. A few nuts and bolts missing. Who knows, I might just snap in the middle of this conversation and make you explode just for fun. What do you think about that? I don't think you'd do such a thing. <laughs> if you say so. Hey, you're a gem. But I've got to practice my skills, and I need you to keep your distance. Do you take care, hmm? Mm, all right, sure. Have fun, Beatrix. That I can do. Okay, well, Jules is trying. That's good. And at least Beatrix doesn't want to light him on fire, unlike pretty much everybody else. Okay, the Pendergast Fortune, hmm? Beatrix, I have so much to ask you. Jelena, please... Ask away. I'll talk as long as I'm not bored. It helps that you are pretty. Don't let anyone tell you that being pretty isn't important. You're of the Pendergast family? As in Edmund Pendergast, richest person alive? Yes, indeed. The very same. You must stand to inherit untold riches. Well, I do deserve all the world's riches. But that doesn't mean the old man's going to bequeath his fortune solely to me. He's got an army of sycophants looking to take a bite out of his empire at all times. Guess we'll see when that cold, ancient heart of his finally gives out. Not the closest with your father, huh? Oh, really? Whatever gave it away? <laughs> no, maybe someday I'll tell you why. No worries. I'm wondering how Pendergast came into his wealth. Almost seems unfair. When the lion slays the gazelle, would you rather lament the unfairness of nature or try to become the lion? You know anything about the Aetherium Crisis? I like to say I'm a history nerd, so yes. Well, well, Poindexter, you're in for a treat. Pendergast has always been around, but once the world got a nice facelift from the destruction caused by the Aetherium Crisis, Pendergast was there to buy up all the cheapened real estate. That, and they financed the reconstruction efforts from shore to shore. That sort of thing pays off, big time. Tis the banker who rules the world without swinging a sword. Wait a few generations, invest the earnings, and now they control whoever they can buy. You know, that does sound pretty unfair now that you mention it. So in lieu of you inheriting this fortune, what exactly has led you down this path? And what path would that be? I guess I don't know that one either. I will confess, I sometimes feel like an alien living among humans. Your customs and earthly pleasures bore me. What really gets me going is seeing what kind of disruption I can weave. Right now, that puts me on your side. But later, if I should develop the means, I'm not sure. I could just become your greatest adversary, if doing so is entertaining to me. Does that make you nervous? 
Yep, I'll wibble. But I'm a better judge of character than you think. If I truly felt that you would bring us down, I'd let you know. But I don't feel that way. Aw, so trusting. Easier to devour when I'm good and ready. Beatrix, you are a character. And you have successfully entertained me. I can already feel boredom creeping in. Do be a dear and visit me some other time, hmm? Of course. Enjoy. Okay. Well, at least she's not trying to kill us all, so that's an improvement. Hmm. Okay, so we've done the tech tree, we've done all that stuff. I should probably organize the army. Probably. Organization is indeed important. I can't form a new squad yet. I think I've got everybody in squads then. So Chris, we could maybe, I could use a bunch of CV codices and get siege cannons ready with Chris and these guys. We can afford it. It doesn't seem to cost any obsidian anymore. What? Really? Okay, the war bows do. Hmm. Or did it never cost obsidian and I'm just wrong? Maybe it was three iron and pyrocyte. Okay, so Pyrocyte will be our limiting factor, it looks like, which makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, that is very tempting. So, I think I might just do that. We've got a bunch of these, so why not? And by a bunch, I mean only 12 left. But what else are we going to use these for, really? I will miss being able to defend and then counterattack with archers, though. But we need to see siege cannons someday, so... <laughs> it is happening now. Alright, use it. There we go. And then... We can go to Joel. Alright, Joel. Let's turn you into a siege cannon. It's cannon now to the story. Okay. One more. And we have only six left after this, so I'll probably save those for future dragons. Hopefully I can make a big dragon unit again. Okay, so we've done that. Alright, I think we are good. So the only problem with these guys turning into siege cannons is their strength won't matter anymore, but you know what? That's fine. They all have the gorilla thing, which, yeah, we're probably not going to need... So, Barad, you shall be the first siege cannon. All right then. Promote! Yes. Not Christopher. Bernier, I think is how you pronounce that. I don't exactly speak French, so we will pretend that that is correct. And then, Joel. Let the sound of cannons reign supreme. Okay. So we've done that. I guess, you know what, we should take them into the arena and see how they do. Ooh, also we have a lot more capacity now, don't we? Hmm. So I might be able to add another archer or something. Definitely moving you to the front. Uh, you guys, you only take one square of space. Because I was thinking they'd maybe take two like the dragons do, but... Yeah, we can put another, like, either highly armored unit in the front. I'm going to do that for now. Uh, so they're protected by Chris pretty well. But yeah, in this way, if assassins attack, they should all focus on just one of them. Okay. Okay. And now our artifacts. Uh, more damage to cavalry probably doesn't even matter now. Probably not. Minus damage taken from swords does help them stay alive. Let's just unequip all these for now, yes. Maybe the essence of Imbor makes sense. Chill things that try to attack us. Hmm. It's an idea. But then, yeah, let's, let's not do that yet. Because then maybe we could fit a dragon in here. That'd be nice. Because Ferdinand, we're not really using Ferdinand. How much do you cost? 15. Ooh, we might need... Yeah, okay. So, I think what we're going to do... Okay, Chris, where'd you go? Where did you go, Chris, then? I'm going to add you once we get 
maybe a little, little armor. At, ooh, or the bow. Yes, that makes sense. Because then we also get capacity minus six. Okay, well it's fifteen, so we should be able to maybe use something different. Maybe. I didn't get another battle armor. Okay. Um. Hmm. Farmer takes less damage. Would also be very nice for this. Hmm. But let's just go with that other Ataraxia for now. Maybe we can add in a dragon to light off all the gunpowder. It's a great plan. Don't even deny it. Wait, so yeah, no, we... Hmm. Okay, so somebody has an elegant blade they don't need. Or that we can, you know, shift. Shift around like no. You have the Imperial Battle Armor. That's still pretty good for you. We could instead... You don't really have a magic person, do you, though? Ferdinand can now fit stuff. Okay. Who's got the elegant blade? You do. Jarmir, you probably don't even need that elegant blade, so... We're gonna switch that. Oh yeah, you got a bunch of loyalty recently, didn't you? That's probably why. Sincredo could do a thing. More dragon damage. Yeah, we could do more damage to other cavalry. With our pikes, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Beatrix is here, so she needs a squad now. That is a good point. Maybe we just give her a Sin Credo. If she does the same thing, then she just blows up everything. And it won't even matter. Uh, yes. Okay, so she is literally alone. Yeah, you get that. <laughs> you get to just destroy stuff, I think, is how we're going to play this. So we can give you the blood staff. My sense credo. Where did you go? Sin credo. You were at the front, I think. There you go. So she gets an extra turn. She has no followers, so we just laugh all the way to the bank. Uh, the bank of doom, that is. Hmm, you don't need strength. You could use more HP, let's be real. Hmm. We don't have archers. Grandmaster Spellbook. Just more magic, more skill? Okay. So. This is an idea. <laughs> she has arcane vigor and haughty. Not affected by the morale of her squad. Max HP based on a percent of magic. So wait, did I just... Huh. So with the blood staff, does that completely negate the bad parts of the blood staff? If so, excellent, excellent. Um, so we're gonna make a magic squad with Beatrix, I think. I think we disband, was it Pardis with the magicians? No, who, Chainer did. We're gonna disband you, I think. All right, Chainer, disband. We'll put you with Beatrix instead, I think. Okay, so we can put you in front, you, We have options to consider. I think we do that. Can't fit another one in. Okay. Fair. Because if she does the same move... Hmm. It doesn't really say what her attack is now. But I'm betting it's still very good. Kind of like the giant lightning or the giant fire that we saw from her in the past. And... Sorry, I'm thinking Jalanon's lightning. Her fire. So that should work in theory. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully this mage will actually be useful again. And that will do for now, I think. We can do the bronze arena pretty quickly, I think, as well. Otto, can we make your people more beneficial? Hmm. Centurion at 45. Sentinel means you don't die nearly as easily, which is probably the best. So if we leveled you just once, you could probably do that. That's an idea. Uh, so let's see what you look like with some XP. Not quite. I don't mind leveling you though. You're still pretty nice. Okay. What about now? Strength 41. Yep. This is what light does to you, man. Just makes you a leader. Even though 
Right now, it's not really paying off for auto. Okay, so we'll think about that. In the meantime, I think we just go ahead and run. Oh, right, I could do stuff with you, Ludwig. Can you be a Warbow yet? No, but you could be a cannon. You could be a cannon. I think we wait. Okay, so we're gonna run some of our weaker squads, I think. Uh, Sipple, this is what I was thinking of. Okay, so we could do Sentinels, we can do Centurions. I think what I want is like two Centurions with Sibyl, or two Samurai. What do we want here? We have an Archer. It would make her a more versatile unit to have Archers. Centurions are nice if we want to just wreck cavalry sometimes with our large AoE as well, but what can you become? You can't become a Samurai, you can only be a Sentinel. I think we do one Sentinel. Promote. And we do one Samurai or Centurion. Let's do Samurai. That'll make you more of a mixed unit, which I think makes sense. And then you're still pretty good against cavalry. Uh, and then we move you over here, you over here. There we go. So now the Sentinel gets to benefit everybody behind him. That should be fine. Okay. So we do that. Okay. Oh, an arena squad. <laughs> more things to do. Okay, well, let us arena. Oh, and I have the bronze arena as well. Uh, I'll do that off camera, and then I'll be back, and then we'll do some side quests, dear viewer. Well, dear viewer, as I was preparing for the arena, I realized I could upgrade Narima. Interestingly enough, she can't become a ranger. So I am thinking I would probably make her a war bow, so that she could keep up with jewels and be near jewels. But the Samurai makes more sense in terms of how we're kind of using her at the moment. So... We have so much iron and stuff, though. You know what? We're just going to do Warbow. There's nothing wrong with being a Warbow. But I thought that would be interesting to see. And I've basically given her a TR that turns all magic into more attack power. So she should now hit, like, a truck. Uh, just like all of her assassins and stuff. So, in theory, we move pretty quickly and kick stuff in the face. So this makes me think I should probably switch her from Boots of Tyranny to something else though that's better for archery and switch her up from a League of Assassins and stuff into something else. Or we just change everybody into rogues. Uh, rangers, I mean. And then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I'm also going to check out Beatrix in this arena. And you know what? I guess we might as well just showcase that. So... Without further ado, I think I'm pretty much done preparing. I'm bringing Ludwig and Christopher so we can try stuff out. And we will begin our mission. Deploy. Alright then. Okay. So. Christopher. If you're up here, can you shoot further? Or is that just archers? Why, even though we have a bunch of siege cannons, does it not show... Do they have to be just siege cannons? If so, that changes things significantly. So that might be a problem. Good to know now. Huh. That explains why enemy siege cannons are usually... pretty weak, I suppose. Okay. Hmm, so you can reach here, you can reach up here. We'll put you here. That should be fine. And then we brought Sybil, because I feel like having all the named characters get XP and stuff is a good idea. Just seems good. Okay, here's Beatrix. Okay, and then we're gonna have to make sure nobody steps on here. Something I have messed up in the past, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. How you doing, team? Team bad guys? Red guys? Red guys. Okay. Or is that more of a maroon? I don't know. 
You tell me in the comments below. Okay, well let's see what Beatrix can do. Because I'm assuming it's significant. Aggression? Thy name is Beatrix. Okay, it is exactly what I figured. <laughs> but she starts with like a normal fire mage attack. That's interesting. So it's even more damaging? Question mark? That's interesting. Okay, so Sybil, we definitely Sybil. want you not. to get through there if possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you should be able to if we can clear this one out. Can I attack from here? No. That's just rude. Uh, I should probably do a cautious attack. Yeah. I mean, I do have two range, but why only two? I should have three with my siege cannons. My dragon wouldn't, you know. But I guess we'll find out the hard way. Up close and personal. I mean, if we use them like shotguns, it still works. Oh, there's your arcane barrier, plus 30 health. Cool. Okay. So that worked. This one for sure. And then we could probably just do a normal attack. Let's see if we can force a surrender. Nope. Okay, but we have a couple pull army boys in the front and some magicians. So we'll just normal attack. I could go cautiously. That's probably smarter. I'm just Ooh, the smarts. We must use them. Okay. Oh, you're on the hill, so yeah, you can shoot further as well if you desire. So we got the chill, so that means they shouldn't do as well, right? I don't quite understand chill still, but oh well. We'll maybe figure it out. I think it maybe also decreases their skill. Hmm. Well, levels. Okay, and then I do want somebody to protect home base, right? So... Do we need to worry about that yet, though? Do we really? Oh, you can make it here. Oh, you can take out... Oh. Well, Diggory. I think you will find... You probably shouldn't get into a fist fight. Okay. There we go. Counter assassinated. Yes. James Bond would be proud, I think. Ooh, almost two levels out of it. Okay. Yeah, these guys have fallen behind a bit. Which is why they are in the arena right now. Yeah, level 32s and stuff. Hmm. So Ludwig, I don't want you getting peppered full of arrows. Let's move you right here. That should be safe. We end our turn. Oh, and I do have my powers now, don't I? We haven't seen Cyrene's power yet. Or Beatrix's, really. Uh, beyond her just obvious annihilation of enemy forces. Glad I gave her the Sin's Credo. <laughs> Seems to work out pretty well for her. And she gets more max HP based on her magic stat, which is just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my samurai. You are a cool guy. This is why we attacked cautiously, I think. Right? Hopefully I did. Like a smart person. Maybe. And do you get a second attack? Okay. I guess not. On the defense. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, then we get peppered with arrows. But Sentinel Man has a plan. It's called Hold Your Shield Up to the Sky. Really high. Okay. You're alive. Okay. And then maybe we can turn Sybil into a paladin at some point or something. Hmm. Ice Mage getting a little hurt over here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Sybil needs more healers to help her. She doesn't seem terribly concerned about doing the best job healing at the moment. Okay, so now we have to, have to, have to destroy everything. Chris, do you call shotgun? I think you do. Uh, the only question is, do we want to do anything different? I think the answer is no. Alright then. Because this also helps our dragon. Was that two levels? Wow. 
Okay. 390 out of 359. Because more magic. It's like, what, plus four to magic or something? Insane. Okay, Beatrix, what level are you? Oh, you're level 30. I think she just said dinner time. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Well, Ludwig. We could start the barrage with you. I think what we do instead is this. Aggressive negotiations. All right then. You didn't surrender. I guess you will never have the chance now. Okay then. Yeah, Warbow, 280 damage. Turning our magic into strength has really helped her, I think. Quite a bit. Ooh, theory as well. Hmm. I think we can afford to just move forward, be aggressive, other than... I want that surrender, don't I? Ready for the barbecue. Ready for the barbecue. Ah. Hmm. Well, Ludwig, I do want you to get XP. Alright. We can't force the surrender from far away, so... This will have to do. Okay, then. There we go, levels. And, more importantly, class points. So, hopefully, they can all get to the ability of beacons. Only Ludwig does at the moment. Okay. And we can start doing some things as well, if we wished. Hmm. We have one archer at the moment. So I think we just heal. Uh, heal you. That'll do for now. Okay. And I do have no powers ready. Meteor. 25% of max HP. And all enemy squads in a cross-shaped area. So five at most, right? Huh. Can't do more than 75%. Does not affect bosses. That makes sense. So, basically, if they're already injured, they won't go lower than, like, a quarter of their health, I think. But you can deal initial damage, and then if you have weaker units, you can have them mop up. That very much helps Stefan and Narima with assassinating, that's for sure. Okay. So we will end our turn. And from here, what will we find? Fear in their eyes? It's Time no surprise, really. Uh, we can go over here. Aggressive. Yoink. Okay, then. Hmm. That was more damage than I expected, that's for sure. Okay. Hmm. Siege cannons. You know what? We do need to know if these cannons work or not. So let's do this with Sybil to move her out of the way. It's probably going to get fully healed back. Okay, no. Loyalty up. Cool. Alright then. I need to know. Do you only work at two distance? So maybe the... Oh. Well, that worked. Uh, so maybe the three range thing is just for war bows? And then it becomes three range if we upgrade them on the tech tree. Which I guess makes sense. Uh, who am I to judge? Okay, uh, Beatrix? You make this too easy. Will you force the surrender? Yeah. Okay. Try to help her other people are up. Okay. Maybe we can turn that one guy into a sentinel. Just keep her alive. Yeah, we do maybe an ice mage to chill out the other people. Okay, oh, we actually have the power now. We didn't really get to test it. Oh, well. So, this begs the question. Who do we wish to get more leadership with? Beatrix? Not really. As long as she has a sentinel, that's kind of all we need on her. <laughs> oh, man. Ludwig? Here comes Sybil. Ready we'll go with Sybil. Seize. Okay, so that's that. And then I think we'll do a side quest just to see how that works so that we don't end this episode without some more new stuff. Alright. Rank S. 
more codices. Steel Greatsword, Grandmaster Spellbook, Dragon Scale Armor from a Bronze Arena. I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, you're good. Well, I will be back. I'll do that other arena, and then we will deploy to a side quest. All right, dear viewers, so I finished that gold arena. I did a lot worse than I thought I would with weaker units at the beginning. I definitely recommend taking in one of your strong units just in case. Uh, without Warlord Tatar and his just large amount of armor, I don't think we could have made it. And the powers, the Nephilim powers, definitely came in clutch. So Exemplar especially at the end there. I had to put that on Camram's unit in order to defeat these guys, and yeah, yeah, that worked out. We got some more codices out of this, and money. The other stuff, not quite as good as the bronze arena, weirdly enough. But yeah, okay, I went in the marketplace, bought pretty much everything here. The question is if I'm going to get Jorg or not, because Narima honestly does a ton of damage now that her magic goes into her strength. And Jorg being a dark affinity. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Decision made. Uh, do I buy Sarah? For similar reasons. Because I realize Sybil's problem is that she cannot heal well. So she might need a friend. But I've only got 7-ish K, so I'm not going to write right now. Alright, let's see. Guiding Chapter A. Unrelenting Ambition. Sybil's recklessness has thrown us into a melee with the Imperial forces at the Felnamia province. We must both save Sybil and seize Felnamia. Okay. Chapter B. Dragon's Haven! Okay. Azura, Broodmother, Dragon could be a valuable ally? Cool. Yes, we're doing that eventually. Um, let's go with Chapter A so we can get more money to recruit dragons with, yes? Yeah, yes, because dragons love money. Since the Wars of Imperial Conquest, all traces of the Donari Temple had been actively dismantled. It was thought that not a single temple remained in Viridia, until now. Because of the strong foothold the Nephilim army holds in the northern tundra, scouts were able to track Imperial army movements in the Lake Felnamia region. The Empire has located one last refuge of the temple, which has housed many devotees who sought refuge. Before Jalanon's army could mobilize, one of its members saw fit to take care of the problem on her own. The highly ambitious Sybil has donned the armor of the Sisters of Justice and stands against the Imperial Assault with very little support. Jalanon prepares to save Sybil in perhaps the last intact Donari Temple in Viridia. Now well, this will be one for the history books. Okay. Chapter 20A. Unrelenting ambition. Okay. So this is probably Sybil. Oh wait, she's got a bunch of sentinels? Okay, at least she's being smart about this, right? Will, okay, so it looks like she will transform into an acolyte. Yeah, her pitiful magic is stat, will hopefully be useful. Okay, iron, I do like iron. We definitely want sunstones, which I keep on calling the wrong things. Okay, what is my mission info? See, so now we have a castle town, we can't let Sybil die, and I need to reach the temple. So until I reach the temple, I can capture everything, right? Ooh, cool little statue. I like it. Mm, yeah, so we can go north and south. Yeah, so we can just send like a couple units south over here. Mostly I'm worried about these assassin types. But that's what we have bows and arrows for, so we don't have to even get close to them. So Raskucha, we can send in. Narima. Boots of Tyranny, we don't necessarily need with Narima. But I think we send... Jules and Narima. You go deal with all this. Maybe, maybe we send Christopher as well. These cannons have currently disappointed me with only having two range, but they still do a ton of damage. And we have a dragon. So, never a bad choice. Okay, you have convinced me. Um, what do we do to Antonio Tristan Hugo? Maybe, you know what? You know what we're going to do? I'm gonna move Chris up to here. We're going to put Abigail up here. Diana as well. Who needs to help Chris not die? Raskuja, Stefan, all of the above. Go Raskuja and Stefan. That makes sense. Hmm, Barnabas, yes, you take the road. Somebody will get to Scotland before you, maybe. Jaramir. 
You're pretty anti-cavalry. There's a lot of cavalry there. We can block that bridge with Jaramir, maybe. Okay, we can fit in two more troops. Lysander is great. Beatrix annihilates things, just automatically. Uh, Warlord Tatar is pretty good. If I can fit in a future healer, that would make his troop very good. Hmm, Ferdinand? No, we don't care. Ludwig? I do want you to become siege cannons or something in the future. Noel's pretty decent. Otto is pretty decent. We don't really have to worry about walls, though, so I'm not going to worry too much about Otto. Hmm. I think we're fine with these troops here. Once again, I think we hold the bridge. Jarmir's troops aren't the best at defending, though, so I think we send one defender with you guys. And for that, we send either Noel, Tatar, Lysander, maybe. I think we send Cameron. All right. And then, I should probably help you guys out, because you guys will be fine. We got Jalen on there, so honestly, that's probably fine. Lysander? Otto. I think I'm going to take Otto, or Tatar. Tatar it is. Okay. Let's go, team. Begin the mission. All right, then, Sybil. You got some splaining to do. Eventually. After we save your bacon. Oh, I can go take that now. Alright, well we get on this mountain. Then we aggressively negotiate. You continuing to breathe. Okay, everybody gets their shots off. Good. Wonderful. I should really go back through and try to get even better artifacts than I already have. Victory for Embor. Okay, can we force a surrender here? Tell me. No. Fine. Fine. For Imbor. Charge. Bonk. Good work, team. Okay. We get a little smack. And we smack back. There it is. Okay, then. Levels. Good. Jarmir is proud. Okay, so now we can scooch a little bit forward if we wish onto this mountain. That's probably still safe. Yes, okay. Time to even the odds. Norima, you're within three of jewels, so he takes 50% less damage if anything should happen. Ooh, leadership and loyalty, good. Camera. You could do stuff to those guys, but it would probably backfire terribly because you're the only one with a bow in your unit as a samurai. Take that. Yes, okay. Raskuja, Christopher, Tatar. I think we go to Tar to break this wide open. All right, for the warlord. We make our war cry loud and proud. Yeah, that centurion is pretty useful in terms of poking. So Tar is very good so far. Okay. Scooch can make it all the way through here, which probably don't want to do too much of because horses okay with that in mind i think what i do is siege cannon from here stefan do you go for hugo or do we let raz i think we let raz do this we go cautiously. That seems like a good plan, just in case. We did get the disarm. Okay. It's a little less damage coming in at us. There we go. And we have two healers, which is nice. Okay. I'm getting a nice amount of XP for my kitten. Okay. We could go aggressively. Why not? We have siege cannons, we will now use them. Fire. Yes. Oh, well, baby. Okay. So, we could get a surrender here. Ooh, yes. We're at 431 with your arcane barrier. Cool. Hmm. So, Stefan. Problem being, you would be well within attack distance of, like, every cavalry guy. If we put you right in there. So. Real thirsty here. 
Not my favorite spot to put stuff on, but I do want to protect my Siege Cannon Man. Alright, we will cautiously attack Hugo. I'd rather force a surrender, but we're not going to so that Safad can get the minus 25% damage dealt. So, life will not go on for these guys, but uh, we'll go on for Stefan. So, that's important. Ooh, loyalty. Okay. So, what do we do now? Hmm. I could try to... Yeah. Could try to do a hit and run. Try to shuffle somebody if we need to. We don't really need to. Hmm. Who is best at taking on these dragons? Oh, I meant to give you that other armor. Probably dragons. So I think we have Abigail. Go here. Hopefully out of range of these guys, but you never know with these roads. Kind of just want a normal attack, I think. Yeah, we have a lot more threat than these guys, but dragon fire is threatening. Makes sense. So their morale should be pretty much gone. Yeah. We're taking very little damage. And they're taking a lot. Still a dragon. Do not underestimate the dragon. I do like how they have different colored frills. Interesting. Yeah, blue on mine, red on the enemy. Okay. I Explanation reached. Okay, Jalanon can't the reach there. Can't go help Stefan. So what I think I do is I hit one of these guys with Barnabas and then go help Stefan by covering the flank. Yes, this makes sense to me. Uh, for similar reasons, do I... I think I normal attack Ralph. As much as I want to uh, force that dragon to surrender, I think we don't worry about it. It be one dragon. Which is not something you ever really hear said ever. Because one dragon is still a dragon. But, uh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Alright then. I wonder if Sybil gets a new squad after this level. Hmm. Intriguing. Not intriguing. So we'll do this. Aggression. Uh, I think I just normal attack. Alright. Normally attack. Jorg. Porbaporg. Of Star Wars lore. I guess. For some reason. Why not? Okay. I didn't turn you into a Valkyrie yet, and I think that's still fine. Yeah. Okay. So we did that. We have mostly broken their archery. Okay, and then hopefully they try to attack Diana and Jalanon and stuff. And I think that's everyone. And I think the Nephilim powers might charge faster depending on environment. I'm not sure. Maybe even types of strategy you use for attacks. I should probably check that in the tutorials. Or we just, you know, keep playing the game. And learn as we go. Hmm. Okay, they're trying to attack Raskuja, which makes sense, since his little wrist crossbow does not go very far. Ooh, pretty good. More leadership. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Surprise, did I give Rescucci imposing or something? Huh. Interesting. I figured they'd mostly go for Diana, but... No. I should probably check Rescucci's roster again. <laughs> oh dear. All these little details that add up. It's kind of fun. Okay. Taking some damage. Thankfully, we have healers on our other friends' teams. But we did a number on their knights. That's good. We don't want to completely kill the... Okay, well. It's probably fine. But now we've... Ooh, class mastery. Okay. Uh, now we've opened up another front for Stefan to be attacked again. Thankfully, they went for Diana. Probably for the charge bonus. Hmm. Maybe they couldn't reach Diana before. But the archers could. Weird. Well, have some lightning. It's a little bit frightening. 
Okay. Yeah, it does look like magic gets weaker as you use it successfully, which makes sense. Okay. They did explain that in some of the tech tree stuff. Oh, Stefan's frontline guys. No. You need to leave. You need to leave the front line. So that you can leave. Okay, well, you are shredding the enemy cavalry. This is great. But also kind of bad. Because <laughs> that means you get attacked again. Come on, guys. Ugh. Nope. Strategery is not strong with these. Thankfully, we have Jalen on the team so he can revive people. So we might do that. We might do that. Okay, well, leadership went up. Well, that's good. That guy's not leaving the fort. That one is. Hmm. Too bad we don't... Well, we can teleport over here. The only problem being that I don't know if that counts as arriving if I teleport right there. We've seen how that works against me in the past. S rank to A rank. Okay, on the blood shard, they did its damage right there to Jamon's army. We don't care too much. Okay. We will always find a way. Jewels, you cannot quite reach. You will wait. Guide my attack. Uh, I can definitely do some work here. So the real question is, who do I think is more dangerous? Probably Malad. Oh, Malad. Eat arrows. See, look at this damage from one warbow because of making her magic pointless. So that's one reason why giving her healers will never work now. But who needs healing when you just destroy the enemy and leave? Give me strength. So, real talk. Can we force surrender? No. Hmm. I think we go for the already weakened guys, especially if we're attacking cautiously, which we are. All right, cautiously shoot him in the face. Thank you. Okay. The bow makes them bow. And now... One dude left. Reaction? No. Okay. Levels. Or take them. And then I could go over to here to this sunstone mine thing, but there's no real point. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just wait right here. Hold the line. Camram, you cannot reach, can you? Can I teleport you yet? We have Cyrene's thing here. So this does do just a five block on the map, wherever you put it. So, honestly, I think what I might do is that. That seems good. Uh, that could also be good. We can't let Sybil die. So, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I think I do this. Because it should charge again eventually anyway, so there's no point not using it. Okay. We do this. And they all lose a quarter of their health. Before anything else happens in combat. So, if they do some dumb things, they win dumb prizes. Hmm, Cameron, you're fairly okay at not dying, so we will probably... We could move Chris over there. That's not good enough. Okay, well, we thought about it. Jalanon, you can probably force the surrender, right? You should. Yeah, there we go. Leadership, there we go. <laughs> For every unit but the one I wanted, okay. Fair enough. So Abigail, you don't need more stats, so we will move you up here. You? Hmm. Wait. Warlord. Warlord and Chris, we kind of want to get the stats, don't we? Yeah. So. Who will surrender? We'll try to get you to surrender. Okay. Leadership. Rascuja, similar idea. We want you to get some stuff. We'll go for this one. Okay. Leadership on not Rascuja, I believe. Oh, Jim's though. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we will put you here, Chris. 
for surrender. There we go. Okay, so that seems to be working out all right. Hmm. You got a plan. Can't reach with you. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Okay. I love this part. Where can Diana go to? You apparently do move, so that's real thirsty. Concerning. You have a dragon as well. If you need something. So I was gonna move here with Safan, but that's probably a terrible decision, no? Bet you didn't see this one. So we'll move here instead. A paladin no never sees. Hmm, definitely doing that. And would have been nice to revive and heal, but we'll get this guy up to full health. Abigail's doing fine. Barnabas, you can't quite reach, can you? School is in session. No. Mm. Nobody really needs healing that bad. Okay. We wait. And then we end our turn. We do have... Oh, I do have the blessing. So I could move Abigail here and just destroy, or Jalen. For my people, for my homeland. Level 28. In the arena, it seemed like everything was level 32. What about you guys? 28. Okay, so we have options here. Anybody not level 28? Joel is actually higher level than Jalen now. Hmm. I think. I must stay strong. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the road, he can probably make it. I'm not certain of that. So I will not risk it. And we will consider moving Camram just right up here, so we can teleport him later or something. Yeah, and they can't reach. Okay. One day, Camram. One day. You'll do more than real estate. Okay, ooh, they're taking more damage than I expected with two healers. Oh, that was them attacking. Sybil, have you learned nothing? Of losing caution can take less damage. Disc. Okay. Yeah, they attacked Abigail. This is what happens. Uh -huh. We can probably force that surrender now, though, so that's good. Hmm. Okay. Pain. Much pain. This was my worry. Oh, we didn't take out their leader in one. That's bad. They still do full damage. Okay. But now we should be able to force a surrender for somebody's units. So that's nice. Okay, and they're trying to attack Jules. It will end poorly. All right, then. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, now we can't teleport under there. Okay. That's not great. Siege cannons, if only you had one more range like you say you do. Okay. So it looks like we need to get there sooner rather than later. How are we supposed to get there fast enough? I guess I might need to get Barnabas. Hmm. I, got all day. I can't remember if I can move again after forcing a surrender. If I can, then that's probably what I should do. Let's try it. Because I forget. Which isn't, you know, isn't a great thing to forget. Okay. Yes, okay, so I can do this. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we can't quite reach. We're gonna have to hope she can hold out, basically. Stay strong, everyone. I await your command. How far can you get? And you have a dragon. Okay. Sayuna will never die. I go here. I force you surrender, yes. Yes. Okay, good. Alright, Jules could heal Jaramir. That's an option. If we hit these polearm users hard enough first, that might work out, but... I do not really think that's a good plan. Hmm. 
And I might shuffle with Narima so that jewels can return fire. Time to end this. That makes sense. I wanted to heal Jarmir, but we'll just get this. Okay. Leadership, good. Loyalty. Okay. So that should be helpful anyway. I still can't break through yet. If she can KO these guys, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You got a plan? So I think what I do... Powers, blessing. And then... Try to get as close as possible. So we need to get to here if possible. Yes, okay, that's possible. And then if I exemplar over here, it should work. Right? Can I, I don't really need healing. Okay. Wait. Power? Ah, uh, it's not done yet. Okay. So, that is what it meant. Um. Maybe. My friends are counting on me. Repent before the righteous. Maybe we can actually. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll think about it. Oh, Stefan, that, that's gonna be missing, right? Yeah. Okay. So Stefan, you go here. Quite. Ready. And then a revival. Shut up here. Revive. Okay. Good. Full heal too. I can do it. That is what we wanted. And I could heal, but there's no point because of the blood shard. And you guys are fine, so we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Wait. Yeah, I will go ahead and move you here, Chris. One more. One more, Chris. Good job. Ah. Right there. That is where we want you. Maybe I keep Warlord Tatar down here to teleport instead of Camram. Camram, you start heading down here to see if we can help. I should have done that earlier, apparently. Uh, yes. Okay. Because Tatar got quite a few level ups in that arena, so he shouldn't need them as badly. Uh, but I don't have the exemplar. Oh, good. You heal one, so that's good. Uh, Barnabas will maybe attract some attention. That's why I want an exemplar up, though, so that I can make them go attack Barnabas. Because he could he's a big boy, he could handle it. He could handle it. And he'd take half the damage. Okay, that's why we have jewels here. Take out the leader. No. Okay. So we can't force a surrender, usually, when that is the case. Okay. Oh, you took out the leader though. Good work. Yes, okay. Barnabas, you're you're a big boy. You're gonna get Kind of poleaxed a little bit, but that's okay. You can, you can handle it. You can handle it. There we go. We took out their leader. That does the most morale damage. Their pole arms were not joking, though. I wish they knew jokes, but uh, no. Maybe some knock knock jokes. Or, like knock you on your butt jokes. Yep. Oh well. Sybil is still holding the line just fine. We're good. Okay, this will hurt a bit, but we had our everlasting potion proc, so nobody was in too much danger, which is good. And we don't take as much damage from arrows with our knights. Also good. Okay. So who can reach these guys? For my people. For my you can almost reach. So that's Kuja. Go ahead and shuffle Abigail. That gives her a little more range. I must stay strong. Yeah, I was also going to try to shuffle John forward, but I just realized that that did not work. Okay. Uh, you are definitely attacking here. I don't think we can afford to go aggressive, though. I think we just do normal. Alright, guys. It's time to learn what a cavalry charge looks like. Okay. Ouch, you learned. You learned far too well. Okay. And then no free action heal. Okay. But well, we're doing all right. Doing all right. We can now scooch in over here. Okay. Go ahead. 
see if you can't force a surrender with your high threat. There we go. So we get more money out of that surrender. That's good. Excellent. Okay. Jalanon, Jalanon, Jalanon. We can now swoop forward with her. We'll do that. Stefan, you go hide in the woods. A paladin never surrenders. Hang out with Diana. Do we need to heal anybody? Yes, we do. Okay. We'll do that. Seems good. Uh, Christopher has cannons, but they don't matter at the moment. Okay. So Jules did a number on you. We're worried about Bert. How can I help, my lord? How far will you guys? Okay. So we will always find a way. We need to go like here. Okay. Let's see what we can do to Bert with aggression. This might hurt. Hopefully it hurts Bert more than it hurts me. Okay, free action. Huzzah! Okay, so. They still have a dragon. It's not great. They also have their leader. Still fine. But we will do what we can about that. We can probably just charge you with Jark. Probably. Victory for Embor. Yeah. Time to even I think that makes sense. Can I? I can go right here. Okay. Can we force the surrender, though? No, we cannot. Alright, so let's do a... We can go aggressive. Yeah, we can go aggressive. The horsemen can't reach us. The only question is if Jaramir can take care of the sentinels and stuff, really. And so far... We will see. Uh, okay, barely leveled. Interesting. All right, fever. Give me strength. Okay. What if we just hit them really, really hard? Yes. I feel like I need to go cautiously though, because you guys do not have a whole lot of health. I think we charge though. This is risky. Risky business. I debated using an exemplar or something, but we'll just hope you survive and get healed. Yes. Okay, dodges. You can dodge dragon fight, which is pretty good. Okay, that could have been better. We want to hide behind our friends. Okay, hopefully that'll work. Uh, I can teleport. But I have no opening to teleport to. So that's annoying. Okay, I could teleport across here. Mm, no, I can't. I can teleport across here. Cut a little bit of a trip off. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is as good a spot as any. Okay. Do I... I want to make sure they don't attack Sybil. They can't reach Barnabas here. You can, of course. So yes, I think what I do... Is Jarmir might get taken out, and that's okay. Because his whole unit won't die. I'll turn Barnabas into the Exemplar for now. And then... Wait, wait. Yes. Okay. What else do we need to wait for? Okay, no, they're not... They're not running away from Sybil and attacking me like I thought they would. Or no, she's attacking them. Right. Her face. It was green. Green light. Okay. Dragon, thankfully, did not go after Jaramir. Okay. Took out its wings. Oh, a silver arena token. Don't mind if I do. Now, I think we still have the dice on Barnabas as well, so there's a chance we get some lucky drops and things. Okay, well, those... Guys, did attack Barnabas, so we should be able to teleport Camram over there. Okay. That being annoying, which is kind of good for us. Okay, free healing. Thank you for trying. Please come again. Okay. So we just need Jalanon to end on that spot, but I want to take that town to the south and some other stuff as well. Like those iron mines. Delicious, delicious iron. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah. We're doing fine. Doing fine. Alright. Jalanon is doing a little less fine because we haven't entered combat for him to heal himself. Nope. You can't quite reach, can you? Okay. Heal. No need. Okay, we wait. Chris, I think we want you to do that, maybe. Or Diana. You know what? We do want Diana to get leadership and stuff. Yes. Excellent. Okay, Stefan. We're gonna do this. Can I force the surrender here? Yes. Okay. We'll take it. Alright, Chris. And then... Bet you didn't see this one. Oh, I thought you could reach. Hmm. So both these guys have a lot of health. Let's let's deal with that, shall we? Let's go cautiously so that hopefully we can get some more healing done. Okay, more healing. Pretty good, pretty good. I'll take it. Okay. Ooh, loyalty. Okay. So we might be able to fit in a new unit in the near future if we take off some artifacts or get another Ataraxia. That would be great. Uh, let's see, Stefan. Once again, you can't quite reach. I'm gonna shuffle with Jalanon so that he can get on the road again. On the road again. Tatar, I could just teleport you here. We could get Jaramir in there. Stay strong, everyone. Oh, so close. If we take this area, the fort does give us defensive bonuses. It must be done. Jaramir can get there. So I think we do this. I think we make our front line stronger. And we go here. Then you can heal your guys. Stay here. We can take Felnamia for... Okay. I think this might also give us a defensive bonus, so I will go ahead and do this. Objective captured. Leadership. Faction XP. Excellent. Uh, we can teleport to Tar in to take care of this guy, if we wish. You might be higher level... Yeah, 33s versus... 30s. School is in and thirty. So yeah, Barnabas is actually lower level than Tatar now. I can what about you? Okay. We could we could do this. This is fine. Hmm. Can I force a surrender? Even having fifteen k more threat rating does not do it. So. All right. Field burn. Like a good workout. Only with dragons. Dragon fire. Alright then. Loyalty. Good. Okay, Brim. Wonderful. Barnabas. 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 What do we do with you? I definitely use Cyrene's power here of Meteor. Shaka laka laka. Okay, then we could teleport in front of Narima, but that might get her less XP and stuff, but her people aren't really designed to take hits. So I think I do do that. May forget to tar, because he's already three levels higher than like everyone. Okay. I could alternatively. Teleport first, then move. Yeah. Then we can heal somebody at the end of it, if we need to. School is okay. In session. Okay. This seems like a plan as well. Let's just get you over here. Well, ah, and we can even attack first. Let's do this. We can target the leader. I think we just normal attack. All right, we get the charge on Gwyneth. Okay. This Gwyneth is not our pal. Okay. That's pretty damaging. 
Okay, we took out their polearm user. We do... Nope, we're good. Okay. So now we can go back here, protect Marina. Okay. And Camram, <laughs> slowly making his way downtown. Walking fast. I believe everybody except Tatar has moved, so we will just continue. And then... We'll see how this goes. Okay, you are attacking Jalanon, that's fine. I think. We did daze my ranger. That works. Okay. And now... Yeah. Bad day for you. Good day for me. Okay, Barnabas is taking another one for the team. Okay. Yeah, they probably would have taken out Narima's entire front line. That would have been bad. Some of these trim god positions are indeed terrifying. Okay. And then Jarmir. Yep. Okay, so the fort should protect pretty well, but my goodness. I am glad I put extra forces down there because I did not protect nearly as much as I thought. Or hoped, I should say. Okay, well, we took out their leaders, so now they should crumble quickly. And our horse bow guys are further behind in level, so they're catching up pretty well now. Okay, good. They didn't do their hidden run, so we're happy. All right, then. Camram, catch up, man. <laughs> okay. You, with your border boards, to show Alfred why they're not called poor bows. They're good bows. That's what they are. Okay, free actions for no reason. Cool, cool. I like it. Okay, that's done. Narima. You can probably force a surrender, right? Probably. Okay. Levels. And then, in terms of turns, how are we doing? Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Joramir, I do want you to get some glory. And power. Repent before the righteous. What levels are you? 29s? You could, you could level. Wouldn't say no to that. 29s? Christopher, I think you were pretty high level, right? 30s? Yeah. Okay, so. Where am I needed? Diana, you get to go here. You get to see... future... people on the ground. Alright. Monk. There we go. Diana is strong. Alright then. So, we've done that. Tarmir. Victory for Embor. What are your troops looking like? 28s, 29s and stuff, generally. Okay. Hmm. We'll try doing this. We might get the ambush here. Justin does not look like he's going to go down without a fight. So a fight we will give. That's good, Jenna. Did a lot of initial damage. That's very good. Then he did a paw to the face. Okay. Loyalty, loyalty. We might be able to fit some more people on Rascuja's team soon. Uh, once again, Jaramir. If I'd gone over there, it might have done the charge, but uh, I don't think we'll need it. I should have done four surrender loops. Well, that worked. Okay. Well, victory is ours. So, let's go say hi to our friends. Hello. So, is this where I need to go? Yes. Okay. Should be everything. S rank, please. Yes. Yes. We took the castle town. We get the surrenders. So we get more. 28 more faction XP. Plus 50. So I think if we do all the side quests, we might. Oh, wait. Emblem Palace. Cutscene. What am I going to do with you, Sybil? Thank you for looking out for me, Jelena. Sybil, let me tell you about what it means to be a paladin. We are not brutes, nor do we desire for ourselves. A paladin has been forged in the fire of battle for most of their lives, and is punished harshly for pursuing worldly reward or succumbing to fear. We must be ready to die for Donar. 
Even though evil forces have nearly destroyed us, the paladins will live on. Under normal circumstances, you as a female must have bore a child to a father of the temple's choosing. But we are living in extraordinary times, and our sacred order needs you. Yes, I understand. Should you become a sister of justice, your sole purpose will be as a divine weapon of war, and you will wield the essence of divinity as your armor and weapon. With this power comes the burdens we bear. Discipline, sacrifice, temperance. Are you prepared for this, Sybil? I want nothing more, ma'am. I am prepared to do whatever it takes. Psst. I think you should probably call her sister now. Then from now on, until you depart this world, you are a paladin. Serve Dona and the cause of good and justice until your last breath. I am honored to welcome you, someone as brave as you, Sister Sybil. Leadership of, okay, finally, she needed that. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, what about Barnaby, see? Well, he was there, so, I mean, would they rip them apart just because? Probably not, probably not. So, leave a like if you've enjoyed seeing some side quest stuff. So I'm, I'm betting not all of them will have cutscenes, but maybe they will. If so, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Comment below on what you think of the game so far. Subscribe to see more videos. And I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.